Hi all, this is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on any new and exciting updates. Let's get into the video. This video is a part of playlist called Elementor Basics in which we discuss every widget, every feature and all things Elementor and today we are going to talk about the toggle widget and the accordion widget. We'll first start with the basics of accordion and toggle widgets and then I'll show you how to create horizontal accordions such as this one. Perfect, right? So let's get into the video. The toggle and the accordion widgets are both similar except one key difference. In accordion widget, you can only have one active tab at once. So even if you want to have two active tabs in accordion widget, you can't do that. But in toggle or in toggle widget, you can have as many tabs active as you want. So in fact, you can have all the toggles on and it doesn't matter. Well, it's personally a design choice. If you are designing an FAQ block, if you want the users to read one FAQ at a time, you can go with accordion widget. But if you want the user to be able to read all the FAQs at once, then you can go with the toggle widget. So you can just toggle on and off the questions or the things that he wants to read. So that's a personal choice. But in a responsive viewpoint, I think accordion does a better job of managing space because it just occupies the space that it needs. Even if you click on another tab, that closes the tab that was previously open and it has a fixed width. Whereas with toggle, you need to click and manage the space. So it's dependent on the number of elements in the toggle. So in accordion widget, you can add as many elements as you want by clicking this copy icon. So that will create the number of copies you want. So if you want four elements in the accordion widget, you can click this twice since there are already two items. So that creates four items and you can add or change the title of each item and its description. And this can be a little bit of HTML as well as I showed you in the previous video. So you can add something like, you can also link the title to a dynamic field and in content, instead of actual content, you can also put short codes. So that will work just fine. So you can just preview your changes. It may not appear over here. It may not appear here. It will just appear as a short code. But if you click on the actual demo, you can see that clearly. So I just pasted the short code of a section that I designed earlier with Elementor itself. And you can see that it's within this accordion content. So it's that easy. So basically, if you want anything else other than normal content, just design a template, paste it short code, and that will just appear in accordion content just like that. So it's really fun. And also you can put short code in the title as well. So if you're looking to make the title a bit more interactive or whatever, just you can also put short code in here. That's actually a WordPress feature. So wherever there's text, there can be short codes too. So you can add as many elements as you want and you can also pick the icon which appears on each of the accordion items and also the active icon so you can customize them and this as a normal icon so additionally you can pick an html tag for your title it better be the least h tag which may be H5 or H6. So your search engines will try to understand what it is. So it will give the priority needed to it. So maybe you can go with H5 or H6 based on your preference. If you already have H4 on your site, you better go with H5. If you don't, you can go with H4 itself. So it's all up to you, but use them with caution. And these tell your search engines what it is, what kind of elements these are. So that's one feature and on the style tab, you can pick the border width. You can customize the border width. So you can make the border as wide as possible and you can also pick a color for the border. So if you want a black colored border, maybe you can get it. I'll just reset it to normal. I just want mine to be this plain gray one. You can also pick a title color and also background for the title. So I'll pick black and for color, I'll just pick this and for active color, I'll pick this one. And 
you can also customize your other typography options you can choose the alignment of your icon so if you change the alignment it goes on to the right by default it's right next to your title you can also change the color of your icon and also the active color which is the color of icon on the active tab so you can just pick a different color if you want for some reason so something like that I'm happy with what I have you can also adjust the spacing between icon and the title again I'll reset it to default because it looks good the actual way and finally you can also change the background color of the content and the color of the content itself so maybe you can pick something like that so that will make text more readable and you can see how all the properties play well here and toggle widget is just another form of accordion widget I showed you earlier with that but let me show you with an example so we've already styled our accordion widget so we've picked active color active icon color and all that stuff so I'll just drag in a toggle widget right underneath that so it's a new toggle widget I'll just create four items and watch what happens when I click on copy on accordion and when I paste style onto toggle so all the styles are properly applied which means toggle widget is nothing but an accordion widget in disguise of course the only difference here is that you can have multiple tabs open whereas in this you can have only one tab open that's it rest all is same as you can see here when I just clicked on copy and pasted the styles it applied all the CSS properties so they're both structurally and functionally almost similar so under the style tab you have the option to change the background color of title its color and a lot of other options too but what if you want to specifically change the background color of one title or this one element or what if you want to change the styles alternately how can you do this well you need CSS to do this you can do it with pure CSS or you can use CSS hero I'll show you how to do that with CSS before doing so I'll just hide the side panel so that I can right click and inspect the element We'll just see the structure of the accordion and as you can see here it's element accordion so the whole accordion is element accordion so when I hover over it everything will be highlighted for me just like that and within that I have element accordion item and each item corresponds to title and the content as well so within the title I also have icon and the class for that is Elementor Accordion Icon in case I want to change the color of the icon or size of the icon specifically of one particular tab. So this is how we target. We usually target elements by their class names but here there are multiple items with multiple class names. So when I actually target by class name the problem is that it will apply the styles to all of the elements which is what Elementor Style Tab is also doing. But I want to do it at per tab basis. So how do I do it? Well we'll use a selector called nth child and if you've been following this channel closely I've used it on a couple of occasions especially when we change the post layout to iMessage bubbles we use that property we'll use the same property to either target a specific tab or change styles alternately let's see what we can do with that nth child selector so starting with this I'll just click on it I'll go to custom CSS and for those of you who don't have the pro version don't worry you can make this work on the free version as well I'll leave a link to how to make CSS work on free version so check that out the rest of the process is the same you just have to do minor modifications again check that out it will be in the description so the first thing that we need to do is to target selector so that we're targeting this particular accordion so selector actually limits all the styles to one particular accordion that we're targeting so in case you have multiple accordions on the page it won't let you target or it won't apply those properties to other accordions it'll just limit them to only the single accordion that you're targeting but if you have only one accordion you can simply skip the selector altogether you can directly type elementor accordion because that's the class for the accordion right let's verify the class names again so i'll just click on inspect and here's another bonus tip you can also copy the class names by simply clicking here so it'll select all the class names you just need to pick the first class name in most cases 
in this i just need to pick element recordian icon so it's element recordian class within that i have element recordian item which corresponds to a particular tab and each tab has element tab title class and element tab content you can see that from here so accordion item within that i have tab title and i have element tab content i can see that from the class here you can also double click on the class and you can copy the class name of course it will copy all the class names you just need the first one or you can hold down shift key and click here first and by holding down shift key again you can click on the end and it will just select that particular class again it's all up to you so you just need to get the class name but before that we need to target the child that we want or the element that we want so let's say i want to change the text color of this title specifically this second title so all these elements are actually children of element recordian right so all these are element recordian items and the parent of this or the actual container is element recordian so you can simply say element recordian nth child and specify the number so if you want to target the first tab or the first element i just say 1 and within that i just want to target elementer tab title that will change whatever properties that we apply to the first particular tab of this element recordian widget so let's say i want to change the color of the tab title to red well it's not changing the color what's that that's because you need to add important at times so that some properties work because the other properties were set to important which is why it's not letting you override but when you add important it will let you override and just like that you can see i changed the color of just the first title to red you can change this to anything you want so you can maybe change it to pink change it to any color and not just color you can target it you can also change the font size of just the first title so let's say 20 pixels just a bit bigger let's also change the font family so this goes on and on as you target this tab title you can target anything so within this you can also target any element not just the tab title so for the first tab we targeted the title change the font size font family and everything that text can do so you can also use elementor typography as a reference to what the properties you have so you have font weight tra text transform font style font decoration text decoration and all that stuff so if you don't know any of the properties you can get them from here and just type it in here it will suggest the properties for instance i don't know if there is a decoration property so i just type decoration and there is a text decoration property and just like that i got a value i'll teach css in detail later but this is how you can do it so let's keep that underlined and as we targeted the title for the first tab let's target the content in the second tab and the way to do it is in a similar way but here the number changes too so this is the first child and this is the second child and in the second child i'm actually targeting elementor tab content not the tab title so title will actually target the title the content will target the content and let's change the color to red again it's not working let's change it to blue and add important just like that it works let's change the background to silver shall we so something like that and if you want to target something in the fourth accordion tab the number will be four here if you have six tabs the number can go up to six you cannot target an element that doesn't exist so here i just have four tabs so if i type six nothing happens because there's no sixth child of this element recordian again this is a property specifically to target one particular tab but what if we want to apply this alternately so maybe for even i want a particular style and for odd i want a particular style and let's also change the background of the title in the first tab so i'll just change it 
to something like that. So you can do a whole lot with this. I'll just comment this code out. I'll share the entire code in the description. So don't worry about that. I'll just add a comment. I just want to show you how you can style tabs alternately. So this is to style one particular tab or one particular element within a tab. So let's actually style these tabs alternately and override the global style. The global style is a black background for title and a white color for the title. So let's override that. And the way we can do it is in a similar fashion, but instead of saying a number, we just say odd or even again, we did this in the iMessage bubble layout video. So this will actually select all the odd children. So one and three. So these two tabs will be targeted with the selector. So within that you can say Elementor tab title and within Elementor app tab title, you can change the color. So just like that, as you can see, it only changes the color of tab titles with odd numbers. So one, and three, it doesn't change or affect properties of even children. So there's no effect over here. And for even, we'll give another style or another color. So we'll just say blue and you can see that here. Okay, it's odd. So I need to change to even. So for odd, we added a color of red. For even, we added, and let's make this even more prominent by adding different size for odd and even. So for odd, we'll have 20 pixels and for even, we'll have maybe 25 pixels. So something of that sort. Or let's actually add 15 pixels. So anything you want. So for even, the font size will be 20 pixels or for the odd, the font size is 20 pixels. For even, the font size is 18 pixels. And this goes on and on. You can also target the Elementor content with this. I just copied and pasted these two classes or these two snippets here. But instead of title, we'll just target content this time and change this to content. So you can see that from here. So as this is an embed, it can't be targeted. It's actually an instance. So we just embedded the template here, which is the reason why you can't see text here. Now you can see that. So for the even elements, the text color is blue, just like the title. And for the odd elements, the text color is red, just like the odd element. Let's do one more thing. We'll create content on the fly. So we'll add two more tabs and you can see the elements and the properties that we set are just applied dynamically because this selector just takes into account the position or the number of children. So all the even will have blue color and all the odd children will have red color. So you can see that from here. You can preview my accordion on the actual page. I just commented out this whole code. I'll leave this whole code in the description in case you want to. Again, as you type, Elementor will give you suggestions. So it's better to practice typing. So you get used to it. Anyway, I'll leave this code. So we just learned how to style the appearance or change the appearance of accordion, right? But how do you change the behavior of the accordion? Well, it's actually complex than you think. This is jQuery or a form of JavaScript, which is actually triggering this accordion. So when you click on it, the click event is associated with the function and that will actually expand this. So what happens when you click? There is a class that's added to this element and the display turns from none to block. So that's what the JavaScript is doing. But what if you want to have horizontal accordions as I showed in the beginning of the video? How do you do it? You can basically take any code from internet and port it to the accordion widget. But it's better to actually use Elementor HTML widget to get horizontal accordions. Why? Because you cannot change or override the behavior because the behavior is vertical. Elementor just included vertical accordion widget. So 
it's by default vertical and it will stay vertical no matter what even if you change the style and if you change it to hover based well it's not gonna work so the ideal way to get horizontal accordions is just by using Elementor HTML widget I already explained Elementor HTML widget so it's really powerful just type for HTML just drag in Elementor HTML widget I'll show you how cool it is so just type Elementor or CSS accordion styles you'll get a lot of them on Google let's do this cat accordion I just click on code I just need to click on this and if there's something called view compiled HTML I need to click on it and here I need to click on view compiled CSS rest all will be same so I'll take all the HTML first and before that you might have to disable your WordFence plugin so I just got my HTML don't worry we'll also paste CSS so under custom CSS start with the container boom I just have a horizontal cat accordion or cat accordion you can change these to elements on your site so here you have links of some random websites you can put in your own links and then change the title to whatever you want maybe add a lot more content than this so you can do a whole lot of that it's that easy porting and if you don't have the pro version of Elementor just add style tags opening and closing style tags and you can take all the CSS so I'll just take all the CSS from here I'll cut it and I'll just put all the CSS between these two style tags it just works the same so this is how you make custom CSS work on free version of Elementor so you can get all these cool accordions let's do one more so this is how you port code again this is nothing new but it's just by using Elementor HTML widget since we're discussing about accordions this is the right place again so here's another horizontal accordion and do note that these are hover based so they won't work on mobile and let's see how they're appearing when we view it on mobile devices from here but I just added HTML and CSS and you can see in the demo this is how it should work and even the heart and I just ported the whole HTML and within style tag I had all custom CSS and one more thing to note when you add custom CSS make sure there are no general elements make sure it's all custom code or make sure it's all custom classes if there are general elements it will screw up the layout on your whole website so mostly most code pens will have custom classes so pick the code that has custom classes and paste it and it will just work you don't have to worry about the code screwing your website since the CSS that you add on any widget section or a column is affected at the page level so this is really important so my on hover accordion works perfectly fine and even the heart is working fine gets bigger and even this is an HTML element they just formatted it using CSS so let's see how this looks on mobile and tablet so on tablet they're just stacked on top of one another if you like this look well fine but if you don't you might want to pick something else so maybe on desktop devices you can have this and you can hide it on tablet and mobile for tablet and mobile you can use Elementor's stock accordion widget and format it just like this of course you cannot have on hover so they'll be click based and you cannot have horizontal too so on mobile of course it's not even logical to have horizontal accordions on mobile and tablet devices so you can just click on this so you can click on this widget go to advanced again this I think it needs the pro version so under responsive you can hide it on tablet and mobile and for mobile and tablet you need to design one with actual Elementor accordion widget so this is how you port code or do things with Elementor CSS and Elementor accordion widgets and what about the toggle widget 
well toggle widget is exactly the same as the accordion except that all the tabs stay open and the classes slightly differ so I just click on inspect element so you can see that here so instead of element accordion it's elementor toggle and each one is elementor toggle item and within that elementor tab title is the same and elementor toggle icon and elementor tab content so it's almost the same except the names change so base basically that's it so you can apply the same nth child property to target each element in the toggle element or in the toggle widget so that's it for now hope you guys like this video keep experimenting keep trying new things i'll talk to you in the next video peace Thank you.